Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jimmy and uh, in this video I wish to give a brief uh, introduction to the Pandora Star Sequence Editor and the best way to do this is to go through the creation of a simple uh, but effective uh, sequence as I've set out over here. Uh, here's the editor, uh, there are two primary areas where you work, on the left hand side you have a, a table uh, which is a list of the steps within the sequence uh, with a start time, a duration and a description and then down at the bottom here we have a total play length for the, for the entire sequence. Over on the right hand side for each step that we add to the sequence we have the uh, capabilities to control any one of four oscillators. You can have either one or two or f all four operating at any one point in time and those can be mapped as I would call it into the the various strobes that the Pandora star lamp has. Now th there's a key thing about the strobes uh, these graphics over here on the right effectively represent how the strobe LEDs are connected together so in the top here we have these three they're all they're all configured and driven as one set of strobes and we have a second set and a third set you'll notice a, a slight amber as opposed to the yellow because these are a warm what's called a warm white LED and then you have the final uh, set on the bottom, the fourth set here. Now in the actual editor itself because we don't have these graphics what we do is we utilize our logo and as you hover over these cells you'll see the the, s the logo changing to represent which LEDs are effectively being driven with the strobe sets that we have. Now the strobe sets go from left to right uh, the oscillators go from top to bottom uh, and you have a duration for each step and also you can give each step a description which is particularly useful for referring back to uh, steps within the sequence. We have a, a conventional file menu with new open, save, save as etc. And without further ado let's create the sequence. So I've created uh, a sequence aspiration here. It has four steps in total and and what I generally suggest is you you actually you know work out in your own mind exactly what it is you wish to achieve perhaps even make some notes and then you can actually use these notes within the sequence itself so if I take the first line here and I copy that and paste this into description for step number one and if we go through each one in turn what I'm looking for is a 10 Hertz frequency I, I didn't mention that we'll use sine waves so we'll, we'll go for sine so 10 Hertz frequency it's uh, it's sustaining the frequency but it's fading the intensity from 0 to 100 uh, percent in 60 seconds so 60 seconds here and fades 0 to 100 so we, for each strobe set we're going to have 0 to 100 uh, percent as the start and end values and it will linearly ramp from the zero up to the hundred percent in sixty seconds. To add a new step we simply right click into the into the left hand pane and click add. Now what we can do is we can repeat this for each of the four steps within the sequence. So again uh, we take the description here and we copy it over into into the description field. This is a ten minute step so this is six hundred seconds in total again using sine waves uh, it's a hundred percent intensity throughout so we can quickly go through there and put all those into 100 percent okay there you go and again for step number three so step oh sorry that's not quite right so this one was 10 Hertz ramped 7.83 Hertz so that so the end frequency is 7.83 Hertz so it's, it's ramping from 10 into a Schumann resonance with intensity at hundred percent. Step number three I can add a new step I can select the the text over here again and I can enter the same into there this is 15 minutes so 900 seconds in total this is at 7.83 Hertz 7.83 Hertz as a sustained frequency keep it as a sine wave again 100 percent throughout okay and then finally the fourth step which is a 7.83 Hertz fade uh, over here in 60 seconds and this is taking 7.83 Hertz as a sine wave 7.83 Hertz as a sine wave Get rid of that there. and it's fading the intensity from a hundred percent to zero so it's a hundred 
100 to 0, 100 to 0, oops, 100 to 0, okay, so there you go, so there you have it, that's four steps in total. If we uh, save this file away, I'll save this onto the desktop, I'm actually going to overwrite one I tried earlier, which is this one. So now we have a sequence, it's called SCHU for Schumann Resonance, and and that's it. That's the sequence create completed. You can you can go back and have a look over the steps, and you can you go through them and sanitize that the details are correct. Uh, we had a total sequence of 25 minutes and two additional minutes. So that's 27 minutes in total, which is what we have here. Total play length is 27 minutes. Uh, you can see the start times for the different steps. That's all there is to say. Uh, if we just very quickly open an existing sequence and then go back and reopen our sequence that we just created. There you go. So all the details are still there, uh, which is what we would hope. Uh, and the sequence is essentially ready to go. All that, all that would be required now is to copy this sequence onto the Pandora, Pandora Star lamp and then that would be available to be, to be played in the usual manner. Uh, okay, thanks for listening everyone. I uh, hope that's been useful and uh, hopefully this will be the first of many additional videos where we can go into uh, additional uh, aspects of controlling the strobe intensities and mixing frequencies across the LEDs as we see fit. Thanks very much. Bye now.